So what's your favorite Christmas treat? Is it peanut butter cookies? Chocolate chip cookie, apple pie, cherry pie, figgy pudding, dancing sugar plums, twisty candy cane, shortbread, gingerbread, pumpkin pie, baked Alaska, cherry jubilee. Whatever your palate is partial to during Christmas time, sit back and think about it as we talk about the science behind baking. Baking is a science. Almost all baking recipes call for flour, eggs, sugar, fat, and a leavening agent, like baking soda or powder. Baking calls for a standard sequence of steps, called a recipe. So if you follow all the baking instructions precisely, the end product is always the same. That's what science is about. Accuracy in its methods, and results that can be reproduced consistently. And for us, results that aren't just consistent but also tasty. But Now there's lots of physics and chemistry in baking and cooking, but we're going to talk about three scientific principles about baking that will also show us a bit about life. Principle number one, purpose. In baking, every ingredient has a purpose. For example, in a cake, flour gives a structure. Eggs bind the ingredients. Baking powder and baking soda make it rise. Fats like butter and oil make it less chewy. And sugar sweetens and keeps it moist. Principle number two, variety. Most recipes have a combination of ingredients that are sweet, or sour, and they may or may not taste so great by themselves. To illustrate this, let's go up to the kitchen for an experiment. So here we are in our Christmas kitchen, and today we'll be using baking as our object lesson. So here we have a bunch of different ingredients, and by themselves, they aren't really that special. But when you mix them together in different ways, they can radically change each other. So to illustrate this, I have a volunteer. Hi, I'm the excited, motivated volunteer. He was very excited when he signed up. I am beside myself. See? Yes, so we are going to blindfold you. What? You didn't say anything about yes. blindfolding. Yes. So. But, Miranda! Ah! So, we're just going to tie. Well, you gotta earn those Christmas cookies you've been eating. Oh, man. Is that tight enough? Yes. I can't see anything. That's the point. Oh, okay. So, first we're going to start with number one. Number one. Over here. Okay. Right here. Ready? Open your mouth. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! That's horrible! It burns! Oh, give me something to drink. Uh -huh. <coughs> give me a... <laughs> what is it? It's vanilla. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Oh. All right. What's the next one? Uh. So this. this is number two. Number two. Yeah. It's right here. Open your mouth. Uh. Oh. No. Not so bad. It was crunchy. Yeah. All right, I can deal with that one. Okay. Are you ready for number three? Number three. Number three. We have... Oh, that first one was... Open your mouth. <laughs> um. Okay, it's powdery. And very powdery. Ah, it's sweet, but powdery. 
and sticky. Sticky? And sticky. Sticky. And sticks to your shirt. Mmm. Okay. Those last two weren't bad. They were mm -hmm. nice. Ready for number four. Yeah. Okay. Two good ones. Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh! That's horrible. That's nasty. Oh, it was dry and... It is, yeah. It's kind of supposed to be that way. Mmm. Oh, that one was not near as pleasant as the other two. Not as bad as the first one, though. That's good. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Oh. You may take your blindfold off. Man, oh, jeez. <laughs> so, what did I have? You had vanilla. Vanilla? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you had sugar. Ah, sugar. That one I could figure. And then you had powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar. That's why it was sticky and puffy. And then you had flour. Oh. Now that you said flour, now I can say oh. Yeah. Mmm. That was a mix of really nasty, strong, burning, uh, with really sweet, and then less sweet, but still pleasant, and then dry, and, and I don't know. It was the um, so that was interesting experience. So what have you learned from this experience? To not let you blindfold me and feed me things. So that was them like all individually. Yeah. What do they all make? Or is that what you're going to do next? Yes. Oh, now okay. Now we're going to put them all together and see what they make. Hopefully they taste better than they do individually. Well, they should. We'll see. <laughs> Principle number three, results. What's your favorite kind of cake? Chocolate? Vanilla? Pumpkin? What about bread? What kind of bread do you like? White bread? Whole wheat bread? Pumpernickel? I have a bread and it's called pumpernickel. Yum, yum, pumpernickel, pumpernickel bread. Hey! Barney has a bread and it's called pumpernickel. Yum, yum, pumpernickel, pumpernickel bread. And if and you're from the South, you might like biscuits. Now if I say flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and milk, and if I mix them all together, which one of these do you think they will make? Cake, bread, or biscuits? How about all three? That's right, they all have the same ingredients, but how do they all come out so differently? It's because they all have different amounts of ingredients. Bread gets more flour than cake, cake has more sugar than biscuits, and biscuits has the least amount of butter. So, different amounts of the same things will give you different end results. So how is this all like life? Well, let's say that the end result, like cake, bread, or biscuit, is our lives. And the ingredients that goes into them are the experiences we have. So, principle number one. Like every ingredient has a purpose in a recipe, every experience we have has meaning and influence in our lives. Principle number two. Variety. In most recipes, there are sweet and sour ingredients. And like in our lives, we're going to have some sweet experiences, but there will also be some sour ones too. But like in baking, God promises that he's going to mix everything up, bake it up right, and bring good out of all of it. And finally, principle number three, result. We're all made of the same stuff, and God says that we're made in his image. For we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And that's one sweet promise that we can live by. <laughs>